here is my color scheme. Uh, you all need to also have white to blend. I really like using white to blend. So I'm going to use mainly blues and greens, which is kind of cool colors. Um, I have lots of different, different values of these colors. You always want to start with a light and then work your way up. Start in one corner. And the key, everybody here needs to listen and look up here because this is this is very important. It is always important to start lightly with your colors. And you're going to decide, are you going from light to dark, dark to light? Whatever you decide, don't press it down so hard when you are beginning with a color. Um... Uh, the goal is not to have this scribble scrabble you don't want that you want to avoid that and how to avoid that is coloring it in and this circular light motion you should always start with a very light blended color and you work your way out blending those colors if you start to see something like this is because you're pressing down way too hard you shouldn't be pressing down any time, when, especially when you're starting with your base color because then you're going to have this unevenness when it comes to color pencil. So I see a lot of people working, but I'm telling you, I'm going to be looking at this. This is like a final test grade. This is a test grade, to be quite honest, because I'm showing you how to start this. Y'all need to this is important for this next project, understand? Okay, so always start with that light color and you're deciding these spaces of the lines is what is going to be separating your spaces. So if you look at cubistic type art and um, not, just, uh, not just cube, but abstract art, there's a lot of art that has lines and shapes inside of them, but separation are within the line so this space right here these lines are my boundaries and within those lines only am I going to do this color with a value of from light to dark dark to light once I have that base I'm gonna decide do I want my light to start from here from there from where or maybe I'll have almost like a sunset type feel so I'm gonna come in with a darker green because I wanna show that value of light to dark, dark to light. So it's good to have a value of different greens. As you see right here, you want to avoid a line of separation. You don't want it to be so present in your your color pencils so I'm gonna go back with the color I started and go over the dark color that I just placed over my light color and I'm gonna start blending them together and go a little bit deeper with those colors this is where the blending comes in you're gonna go from your dark to your light to your dark to your light until you have a nice even tone you want to avoid a line of indication of where these colors are meeting. The goal is to blend it in, in these even tones. Blend those colors in. You're gonna have to go back and forth. I like to use a circular motion, but going very lightly. Then start to deepen my color where I want it to go. So I'm going to go back and forth with these darker green colors, darkening it up as I go. And if I want to lighten up my green, white color pencil. This white color pencil blends these colors in really nicely and makes this nice and light green as you guys can see. Each space is gonna have a different color scheme. Um, well, not so much different, but just in the way you are gonna create it. If we look at 
this, I went from dark to light. I went from a dark red to, this is all the same color, but all I did was color it with white color pencil to make this value of that red. So the same thing goes here. So do you notice how it bl it's blending in little by little? That is your goal when it comes to color pencil. You do not want scribble scrabble. You don't want any lines. Your goal is to blend it and have this even tone in like an ombre. So many of you all that know how to do hair or whatever, they call it ombre, right? Um, this ombre. So the goal is this even tone in color pencils. Okay. And you're going to do that throughout. So like say, I'm going to start another part. In this part, I just want it to be all this solid color. And I'm going to go very lightly. Circular motions is, I feel, is a good way to color in a certain area. Because, I don't know, it just goes in evenly. Instead of making lines, circular is less lines. So I'm coloring in that whole area with this blue and then I'm going to come in with white and that's how I'm going to create my value. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper with that same color and in this space this is how I'm creating my light to dark value. And it was just one color, that's it. But blended in with white. Circular motion. I will be grading you guys on this. I do not want to see, I don't want to see a line like this. See this? Where there is no blending. It's just light to dark, that's it. Light, dark, that's it. You need to make sure you're blending your color pencils using your whites or darks or whatever to get those colors to blend in nicely. That is your goal. And then when you are, when we are done with this and I grade your paper and feel like you are next, you're ready for that final project, then we will go to the final project. This will end up looking like this. Goal, blending, start, end. Understand? This is the start, this is the end. Notice my separations, how the lines separated my spaces. Okay? All right, you guys, I will be posting the video.